One of the most desirable tools in the modern kitchen are powerful burners, and the La Cornu burners are certainly powerful. The front burner has a maximum output of 17,000 BTUs, and the rear burner has an output of 7,500 BTUs. So obviously when you're sautéing or searing, bringing liquids to a boil, the front burner will be the burner of choice. More delicate foods, when you're making oatmeal in the morning or cooking rice, definitely you'll want to use the rear burners. Both burners have the capability to go to an extremely low simmer. The burner ignition system on the La Cornu range is called a thermocouple ignition. It's a safety system used widely in Europe to prevent unwanted gas flow. To open the thermocouple valve and start the flow of gas, press the knob in, you'll hear the burner igniter begin to go click, 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 and then release it, and at that point the thermocouple is warm and the burner will stay lit on its own. Now, much as we love all that power to cook with, I have one really important tip to share with you. Heat your pans over moderate heat, because if you can get the pan really at a nice temperature, it'll be a great cooking tool. And definitely use pans that are designed to handle this kind of heat. When the brass burners are exposed to heat, they do become a little dull. You can clean the burners easily by placing them in a bowl with some water and white vinegar. The white vinegar does an excellent job of removing any of the cooking grime from the surface. So if you have any baked on stains, we recommend you make a paste with Barkeeper's Friend and rub it into the burner just let it um, sit for a little while and then clean it off. You should be able to keep the burners really looking nice. We've seen that we have great power and control with those gas burners, but remember, every time you cook on an open flame, there's more evaporation of liquid. What did the French create? They created a French top. This is also known as a plaque. The plaque is the most extraordinary tool you've ever cooked on because now the heat source is indirect. In other words, the burner is beneath the cast iron surface. The French top or plaque is divided into sections. The center ring is the hottest part of the top. Then there's a break between each of the rings that diffuses the heat. When you cook on this surface, your pans do not have to be exactly on the French top, they can be slightly offset. Push to the rear of the French top, you can easily melt butter or chocolate or hold a sauce or simmer foods for very, very long periods of time. Anytime you need to reinvigorate the food, you just bring it a little closer to the center to get that additional heat. And because the heat source is indirect, the food you're cooking can develop flavor without too much evaporation of precious cooking liquids. Now, you can use a variety of different pans on the French top. Pans like uh, cast iron or really good quality stainless steel or copper are going to give you the best results. We also can use a griddle directly on the French top when we want to make uh, breakfasts or appetizers. All we have to remember is that the center part of the griddle will be the hottest. Once the range has cooled down, we take these purple Scotch-Brite pads. These are, have a, a medium grain that's perfect for cleaning the French top. Now, you can use good old elbow grease, or sometimes we resort to using a small handheld orbital sander for a really quick finish. There are many ways you can customize your La Cornu cooktop. To see the entire selection of configurations and tools available, the best is to visit the La Cornu USA website. And you can see some of the other great tools like the induction and the power burner. What an amazing option to be able to customize a cooktop so that you have every tool that you need for your style of cooking. That's La Cornu.